Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm about to show you the most common fix of the differential lock actuation uh, that is normally found in the Volkswagen Transporter from 2004 to 2016. So basically the T5 and the T5.1. The Transporter is fitted with an optional mechanical differential lock the differential lock uh, is made up of uh, the actual lock in the rear, the di differential control unit and the valve block behind the left front wheel housing that is uh, normally the culprit for this uh, issue. It's made of two solenoid valves, uh, it's a, basically a junction uh, block of two electromechanical valves that actuate the, the differential lock uh, and uh, basically switch the lock on and off. So, as you can see here on the video, I'm showing the position of the solenoid valve block uh, that consists out of two uh, identical uh, units that are placed uh, just behind the left front uh, wheel arch. Uh, they're protected by a, a plastic panel, uh, but still quite exposed to the elements uh, outdoors, so uh, they can get uh, damage due to the salt corrosion and so on, uh, so that is normally also the um, fault for this issue. So here we are back in the workshop with the valve block disassembled. Uh, this part of the video basically shows the option how to test how to check the function of the valves. Uh, it's a fairly straightforward task. You basically uh, connect the terminals, the positive and the negative, negative terminal to the battery leads. And basically this will directly activate the uh, valve, the solenoid valve, and will show you if the uh, uh, winding inside is basically, the, the coil is, is functioning uh, properly. Uh, so we have two ports for the vacuum, uh, one inlet, one outlet, and if the uh, coil will actuate, it will uh, trigger the flow of the vacuum in the desired direction. So uh, how you can do this again uh, is basically you're going to connect the two uh, connector terminals uh, to the battery. You have the um, connectors marked uh, plus minus so you do the same uh, with the marks markings on the battery if the actual um, function of the valve will be um, as it should be you're gonna hear a clicking sound if there is no clicking sound this means that the, either the uh, valve itself is stuck or the core of this is burned out so it's it's a fairly straightforward check you're gonna hear it uh, right away if it's uh, not functioning uh, this uh, is highly uh, the reason for the uh, non-functioning uh, differential lock uh, here I, I tested both the, both parts uh, on one there was actually clicking um, audible uh, so you could hear the, the clicking sound which means that the function of the valve was actually working but you could see on the housing that it's all blown up and uh, basically uh, the housing was cracked so it means that it would actually soon stop working uh, on the second one uh, there was no uh, no um, voice um, to be heard here we are back in uh, again when I got the parts uh, from the from the uh, auto parts store. Uh, you could uh, search the the part number according to the markings on the on the part. It's zero three seven nine zero six two eight three D. They're both the same, so you can just order w one part number in 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 uh, quantity of two. Here we are back reassembling the bracket with the two valves on the on the desired position. Uh, it's a straightforward <coughs> uh, task. Basically, there are two. I think it's M6 or M5. Could be M5 
a bolt with with a hex uh, socket on one side and I think it's a uh, size 8 um, socket on on the other side so it's a straightforward uh, job of just unbolting and bolting back here it's a good idea to use some uh, waterproof grease on all these fasteners in order to be able to get them back off if shall you need it because they are uh, quite prone to corrosion and uh, seizing because they are exposed to the elements uh, below the vehicle otherwise it's a straightforward job just make sure you take some photos when re disassembling so you can reassemble uh, if you in case you forget the the position of the components and how they are placed right up guys here we are back under the van uh, when once we have the, the new valves fitted onto the um, the panel the bracket uh, we can go ahead and install the complete bracket with the valves bolted onto uh, back to the uh, vehicle uh, chassis uh, so uh, they are connected by two um, the green and the blue uh, vacuum hose and one black vacuum hose that is basically feeding the vacuum from the engine uh, in addition to that they are connected uh, of course uh, with the two electrical connectors uh, those that basically actuate the uh, valves so uh, they have two waterproof connectors uh, two pin connectors uh, each so uh, make sure to connect those in the same order so once you have uh, the complete bracket reassembled and connected so we have two vacuum lines and an additional vacuum feeder line and two electrical connectors you, you're gonna go ahead and uh, basically bolt the two uh, bracket bolts uh, M10 I believe uh, 13 socket uh, back to the, to the vehicle chassis make sure to use some good waterproof grease uh, so just in case that they don't get seized up uh, because of the exposure to the elements uh, go ahead and bolt uh, these two uh, back on so that the uh, bracket is nice and secure to the chassis it's a straightforward job so uh, nothing uh, to go wrong there and then you can basically try out the, the function of the differential lock you're gonna go ahead and turn on the engine and if the repair was successful, you're gonna see a, either a blinking, either a full um, light on the dash uh, that indicates the um, function of the differential lock engaged. Uh, the blinking light is basically meaning that the lock is uh, about to engage uh, but has to be placed in the proper position. Uh, for the dog clutch to engage but if the light is on this means that the repair was successful that's it thanks for watching